Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Today I'm going to be talking about Kong Skull Island in 4K. Yes. So, I finally got around to watching this. The last Kong movie that I watched was actually Peter Jackson's back in 2005. Um, which I really liked that one and the setting and everything. But... I really, really, really loved this one, and um, the special effects were really incredible. It had a really good story, it had really um, cool creatures in it, and Kong was just gigantic and huge. Um, the cast was amazing. You had Tom Hiddleston, Brie Larson, um, and Samuel L. Jackson, so basically three Marvel people right off the bat. And that's pretty freaking awesome because I, I loved all of them. I love the, just everything about the movie. I can't believe that Samuel L. Jackson is kind of the bad guy in it, but um, I'm not going to give any more spoilers. Uh, so yeah, make sure that you check this out. I cannot wait until... Um, Godzilla vs. Kong comes out, um, that's going to be the next movie, but, um, my review about this one is really short and sweet because, I mean, it's another Kong movie, but, um, I liked their take on it, I love the spin on it, um, and like I said, the special effects were really incredible. The The storyline was really solid. And obviously the actors were amazing. <clears throat> and the guy from Prince of Persia, I forgot the actor's name, but he is in it too. Um, he is really good in it. I did like his character. And... Um, let's see... So it says that this movie came out in 2017. Wow, guys, I'm really behind because I just watched this movie like a month or two ago. But I haven't done a review on it because there was a while where I wasn't doing reviews because I had so many different health things to take care of and stuff like that. So I really wasn't doing stuff for a while or active on YouTube other than my videos and my dogs and you know different stuff like that but when it actually comes to reviews I haven't done them in a while so I'm just now getting back into the swing of things now that you know I'm getting my health and everything under control and yeah so if you haven't checked this out I do highly recommend it it, it is a really great Kong movie so make sure that you check it out looks like this not to be confused with peter jackson's 2005 kong even though that is a really good one and i do recommend that it's just that the um peter jackson's takes a while to get into because of the setting the period that it took place and all of that stuff so um but once i got into it, obviously it was an incredible movie peter jackson is just one of the greatest uh, directors and everything so um but the person who did this jordan roberts um i'm not sure how you pronounce the the first of the last names because it has like a hyphenation thing roberts but it's like i don't know if you don't pronounce the g but anyway here, I'll show you the back so you can kind of maybe uh, it's kind of blurry yeah but anyway right there there you go it's right here it's that it's um, Jordan and then whatever the first thing is to his last name and then Roberts but anyway not that, that it's that important, but it is because it's a different director than Peter Jackson. So, because that's my generation's Kong, because all the rest of them are 
before my generation, like my parents' generation, my grandparents' generation. So, like Peter Jackson's was mine for my generation, and this is obviously for the newer generation and stuff, but um, yeah, this is really great, and I highly recommend it, so check it out. Until next time, guys, make sure that you... Actually, um, I'm going to start doing something different. Um, if you want to see me review, like, any shows or movies, special, you know, specifically that are on, like, Netflix or Disney Plus or Hulu, because I have all of them, I also have at least 200 movies on my shelf. At least. Like, I have so many movies that I actually need a whole nother movie shelf kind of thing going on. So... I'm pretty sure that I can look up or rewatch or, you know, if you have something in mind or like a specific show that you want me to watch. Even, even products actually too, because I don't just do movie reviews and, you know, stuff like that. I do music and shows and products and stuff like that. I know I did EOS and, <coughs> sorry guys. Um... Yes, I can't remember the other one. Oh, uh, I can't remember. I believe that there was a um, body wash. It was a body wash. I can't think of it right now. Another one is um, the Harry's Razor, which is incredible. Um, obviously, I recommend that. It's way better than the Gillette brand. So anyway, and it's becoming popular. So excited that they're... Um, that somebody came out with something better so Gillette better step up their game because the Harry's razors are gonna start taking over because they are incredible but anyway make sure that you comment below um, if you want to see me review anything specific make sure you, you subscribe to my channel um, until next time guys have a great day